were doing my programming. I made a very strong agenda for the night and I did a lot of talking and two years later I talk very little and the idea to just go with it is ringing much more true, right? So a small amount of information and let them run with it and make sure they stay on topic and such and so forth. But they're the experts, right? You know, often they come in with things that have happened, you know, a suicide in the community, a car crash that's taken the lives of four kids or whatever. And they need to talk about it and they and so we're lucky that we have facilitators and we have peer facilitators as well, older girls who are able to re are very good at responding like in the moment or in the situation. They're they're made aware that I'm respectful of what they have to say, like really and I allow them to see how much what they say can change anywhere and also change them. I think it's really about making them feel good too and powerful, especially for young girls. I just have a code and it's just very simple. It's only three rules, which is starting off with respecting yourself, which means to have the capacity to believe that you can contribute. Um, respect others, obviously, and then respect this environment offer a space that you know is non-judgmental um, that they're going to feel um, you know that they can use their voice in that space and you know the the program will just evolve from that I don't really believe that there's ever such thing as a safe space but we can try to create a safer space mm -hmm. so we we're, we're we're driving towards a better society we're trying to model that society within our group but there are going to be mistakes and we got to be able not to be like oh stop this is not safe because this is the only space that they may even be able to articulate these things, we have to be able to challenge it together.